All right, guys, we are here with Good Times UCC truck on our new dyno. We've been having a lot of issues with our dyno, so we had to upgrade it in a massive way. We actually have Don out here from Mustang Dyno putting this thing in, helping us figure it out. And uh, we wanted to run a powerful truck on it. Uh, a big problem we had was that this engine from UCC had us, we wanted, we took it out because we wanted to do a refresh on it and we haven't had time to put it back in yet. So we had to put the backup motor in this bad boy. We had to do it fast. <laughs> So the engine's now in. We got to strap the dyno. We've been running, you know, good trucks. We run the mud truck on this. We ran Lonan's daily driver on this. So we did corrected 512 and uh, 1060 foot-pounds of torque. I didn't even know what to expect on it. We've got 5x14 injectors in here, power driven, 025 delivery valves. Uh, our ultimate towing compound system and you know a brand of 12 six quarter in it it runs out to about the same numbers of what I would have what I would have been uh, at, at the track so we're good Ready? So we've done a couple just runs up. We got to do a parasitic loss on the dyno with a new system where they run up to 100 or 130, whatever mile an hour you're going to go to, and just coast to a stop. And that calculates how much parasitic drag you have. Don't know exactly why that's important, but apparently it's very important because we have to do it on everything. Next, we're going to do a pull just in valet mode. This is the first time this pump has been back on the truck. So we don't want to just go crazy off the bat. We're going to do a valet mode, which means no boost to the AFC see what kind of power we get and uh, make sure everything looks good in the data logs, make sure everything's good in the engine, and then we'll start turning the power up. So between every run, it takes 10 or 15 minutes to cool off the oil, so it takes a long time to do a dyno session with this truck, but um, that's what we're gonna do, so let's have some fun. Alright, so we did our first pull in valet mode. It did 964, but it spun on the rollers. Um, our veteran Mustang dyno operator, Adon, he suggested we put the tires in the rear of the roller, which we know is going to make us spin, but he wanted to see. So, put in valet mode, and at 964, sure enough, it spun like crazy. Uh, Dade logger went to 4,400 RPM. Engine, dy uh, the dyno went to 3,700 RPM. So, very obvious to spin. So 964 spinning in ballet mode. So we just remounted it to the front part of the rollers where we like to be to make power so it doesn't spin near as bad. We turn the fuel up a little bit and just do another, another roll here, another pull. See, uh, make sure the back of the engine's taking it good and yeah, let's do it. All right, so we did a run of some more fuel. We picked up some power. We went from 964 uncorrected to about 1150 uncorrected, or I think it's almost 1500 corrected, but I didn't pick up as much power as it should have for the fuel. So we're looking at the data graph. It's pretty obvious. We think the transmission's slipping. Now, this is the same transmission that we ran at UCC. We did this dyno with it, the sled pull. It's been through a lot, and we were in such a rut. We didn't go through the transmission because we were at a time crunch. We just got the engine in, so, and it's okay. I'm glad the engine's in, it's running good, running strong, happy about that. 
We'll just go through, refresh the transmission, get that fixed pretty quick, and uh, this thing should be ready for some fall dyno competitions and some uh, test and tunes have a lot of fun with. So overall, I'm really happy. I was kind of hoping to go over 2,200 horsepower today because that's the most Don, our Mustang guy, has ever seen with some pretty big names. I can't disclose to you, but I guarantee you know who they are. You've seen them. And um, so I wanted to beat that so we'd be the biggest he's ever seen. I, we could have done it easily because those were corrected numbers. We, we got 1,500 on a slipping transmission. So uh, but maybe next time we'll get Don out here, we'll, we'll break that record for him. But for now, we're going to pull the tranny out, get it refreshed. Dino's working awesome, way better than it ever has before. I'm really excited about that. So we're going to have a lot of cool dyno videos coming up here in the very near future. Thanks.